Cartoon recaps here, today I will be recapping a romance, an anime movie called, After the Rain. Spoilers ahead, relax and enjoy. The movie begins with a school student called Akira, who wakes up from her sleep and is about to leave the classroom. A boy hurries to her and finally wants to give his shot on her. He tells Akira that he feels a kind of connection between both of them, immediately he asks for her number she is nowhere to be found. Akira works at a restaurant, she always ensures that everyone in the restaurant gets a meal before she can even think of taking a rest. At the kitchen Akira colleague complains to Akira and the other workers concerning the way their boss act. That he apologizes way too much. As we're talking, their boss enters the kitchen and politely tells one of his cookers that he should be more careful with his cooking, so not to overheat the food again. The boss is so humble in everything. He has this attitude of apologizing even when it's not necessary. While Akira watches his attitude from behind and starts to fall for him. Akira is finally given a break. Akira boss cares way too much as he asks Akira that the food she's about to eat is enough, and also when Akira breaks a plate he hurries to know if she's alright. One day Akira finds out from her colleague that their boss is single was divorced long ago, out of excitement she breaks a plate again. Akira feelings for her boss starts to grow more and more this time around. At school her three friends sits beside her to eat lunch and just together. Her friends then spots the most popular and most handsome boy in their school, and are overwhelmed with joy, with their huge crush on him. But Akira just keeps her cool asking who he is. This surprises her friends because everyone knows him in the school, then they notices that Akira seems to be less interested in him, they then ask her the kind of guy that catches her attention. Akira responds saying that wants someone who always forget to zip his pant. While she's talking the schoolboy that has a crush on Akira was imitating everything she was saying. She then concludes that she likes a weird kind of guy. Her friends laughs at her for her weird interest, she then angrily leaves their premises. Akira while at work asks Yui, her workmate what kind of guy she would find herself attractive to. Her workmates talks about all the boys in their restaurant and everything she likes about them. Akira was like, why was their boss excluded from the boys she likes? She then replied that he is old and he smells. Meanwhile, their boss overhears everything they are saying and was really too embarrassed. He then decides to go change his shirt. Akira later enters his office and sees the worn off shit that was earlier removed by her boss. She then grabs the shirt and starts to smell it. Immediately she starts to imagine herself in a restaurant, as she was served a tea by her boss. As Akira keeps smelling the shirt, her boss enters the office as he catches her in the act. He is really shocked not believing his eyes. Later on during nightfall, there was a really heavy rain. The employees were contemplating how they are going to go outside during this rain, immediately their boss brings an umbrella and shares it among them, they are really so grateful and leaves. He is also about to give Akira hers when he notices she has her own. Akira then asks her boss if he uses a messaging service on his phone, maybe a chat app or something. Her boss shyly says no. Akira is disappointed and says goodbye to her boss and leaves. The schoolboy who has a crush on Akira sees her on the road and tries his shot again. Her boss peeps through the window to get some fresh air, as he sees the boy with Akira and he's so disappointed because, he thinks the boy is her boyfriend. The next day their boss introduces them to his new employee called, Yoshizawa, the schoolboy that has a crush on Akira. Akira sees him and is really furious. After a good sales that evening their boss found out that the customer that just left, forgot his phone. He hurried outside to meet up with him but he is really far away. Akira notices the situation, and grabs the phone from her boss and swiftly runs towards the customer in no time and delivers the phone. This really impressed the boss a lot. She then uses the opportunity to make a move on her boss by pretending that her ankle is hurt. Her boss immediately carries her into his car rushing her to the hospital. He tells her that until she feels fine she shouldn't return to work in the meantime. Akira rests at home for days and all she could ever think of is her boss and nothing else. Akira decides to take a fresh air outside and surprisingly sees her boss who is trying to locate where she stays. Akira at first is so surprised to see him. Her boss then takes her to a restaurant. Her boss was so relatable and fun in every kind of way. She then honestly tells her boss that she likes him. Her boss startled for a minute while Akira couldn't believe the word just came out from her mouth. Her boss is so happy that someone really likes him because his employees thinks he is kind of a joke. Akira is so disappointed that her boss didn't really get her true feelings. This depression even made her Akira not to relate with her friends. All Akira could think of, is her boss kindness to her. Later one evening, her boss is done working for the day, and looks through the window to catch up some fresh air. There was a very heavy rain falling that night. He then spots Akira and is really shocked. Before asking more questions he asks her to come inside due to the heavy rain, 
but she insisted to stay in the rain. Akira became more specific this time around and tells her boss that she is in love with him. Immediately after the statement she left her boss shocked. The boss couldn't get his mind of what Akira said to him. The next morning was the day Akira is to resume work. When she arrived she acted like nothing really happened that night which made the boss wonder if every that happened that night was a dream or a prank. He looks at the mirror and was like why will a 17 years old girl care about a 45 years old man like me. At office her boss is now always feeling nervous whenever she's around him. Akira notices and goes to him, appreciating him for all the gifts he sent to her when she was injured. She then boldly tells him that she really meant what she said last night and she wants to know if he loves her back. This makes her boss more tensed. Her workmate immediately enters inviting her for a party but she rejects, this time around her boss realized that it wasn't a dream or a prank. He stands up saying he will drive her home so they can continue their conversation. On the way, he sincerely tells Akira that concerning what she said to him earlier, he can't really give an answer to that. At this moment Akira is furious and asks him why, her boss replied saying that he is 45 years old and he is very concerned what people will think or say when they see him dating a 17 years old girl. Akira yells at him saying she loves him no matter what people say. While he was escorting Akira to her house, they decided to stay under a tree and wait until the rain stops. Her boss then asks her what she really likes about an old man like him. Akira was like do people need a reason to fall in love? He then tells Akira that if she should go on a date with him she will see how creepy he really is. When Akira hears those words, she was really happy and the boss tries to deny that it was a sleep of tongue but later admits. The next day Akira boldly asks her boss when he is going to be free. He says every Saturday. Akira then tells him that they can use that free time to go on a date. He then accepted. Later that day, Akira goes to the restroom to wash her hands. There is also a chef who works in the restaurant with her. While making a call, he strangely and suddenly starts to lust over her. His affections for Akira starts to grow more and more. So he decides to give his shot on her. Firstly, he cooks a really delicious meal for her but and whenever he wants to flirt with her, she goes away. The guy's name is Casey. He finds out that Akira has feelings for their boss through a drawing in her notebook. Akira then politely tells him not to tell anyone. He replied Akira saying he won't only if she goes on a date with him. Akira had no choice but to accept his request. They went for a date that afternoon, but Akira seemed to be less interested in everything they did no matter how hard Casey tries to make her like it. Immediately after the date, she gets a call from her boss asking her about the location they should meet for their date. Akira then cheerfully replies saying she would go anywhere he wants to go. Akira had a wonderful time with him and after the date, Akira imagined herself going to her boss and kissing him but she changes her mind and leaves. The next day the boss son visits the workplace to see his father but he finds out from the other workers that he is on break today. So the boss son insisted to visit his dad at home but the workers felt it's dangerous for a little boy to go all the way through the traffic on his own. Akira then volunteered to take him there. While they were waiting for him to arrive, she uses the opportunity to make a nice meal for him. The boss finally arrived but Akira decides to hide herself in the wardrobe. After a really long conversation with his son, Akira starts to lose her breath and wasn't able to hold on much longer so she comes out of the wardrobe, which shocks her boss. Akira is unconscious from the heat in the wardrobe, and the boss immediately asks his son to bring a hot tea for her but unfortunately he mistakenly pure the tea on her causing more commotion. The boss gives her one of his shirt and volunteered to take her stained cloth himself to the dry cleaner. At the dry cleaning place, he kept wondering what Akira was doing in his house. Akira notices the rain falling and goes out with the boss son to give an umbrella to her boss so the rain won't beat him. The next morning, a bad news got to Akira's hearings that their boss has been promoted meaning, he won't be staying at the restaurant anymore and he will be replaced with a new manager, to handle the restaurant. The boss then called all his workers to give an announcement. Everyone thought it was about him leaving which made Akira furious. He then tells them that he is just going out to do a new discovery of recipes for the restaurant which made the workers shocked. Hearing this was a really great relief for Akira. Akira was with him to say goodbye to him but when he got a phone call, Akira starts to leave. The boss then yells her name, immediately Akira turned around and runs furiously to her boss and hugged him, as they said goodbye to each other. Thank you for watching guys. If you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel and keep watching. Bye.